guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Today, guys, we're doing a hidden features video. It's something I haven't done in a very long time because, you know, I've pretty much already explained everything on the E90 chassis, 335Ys, 330Iys, but we haven't got to my brother's F30. So we got a lot of hidden features on this car that I was doing a little bit of research upon and something that, you know, some of the things that we and my brother ran into and uh, it's worth mentioning to you guys uh, for new buyers or if you guys just want to buy this car because of the features I'm about to tell you because it's pretty darn dope. I know my boy Muhammad will tell you that the Altima's got way more features. It has startup from the key, which, uh, you know, we, we don't got that over here in the BMW world, but we got some cool things, so we'll show you guys that in a little bit. So for those of you guys who want to mod your 335 and you guys have an LCI, I have some good news for you guys. So before I start this video, I just want to say that we're giving away some carbon fiber, uh, you know, side mirrors. These are dipped in carbon, but I mean, yo, they're, they're pretty dope. These are not wrapped. These are dipped. So these are really nice looking uh, ones I accidentally ordered. So instead of returning them, I figured, you know what? Let me do a giveaway for you guys. So if you guys want to enter this, make sure to check out that first link down below. All you got to do is like this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and go follow me on my Instagram. And uh, that, that'll pretty much get you guys an entry to win these. And I'll be giving, I'll be announcing the winners in the next week's video. So yeah, it's pretty easy. All you got to do is follow. I'm not telling you guys to buy nothing. I'm not telling you guys to do nothing like that. Just make sure you guys follow, stay, you know, interacted in the channel. And you guys are good to go. But make sure to smash that like button. Anyways, let's get to the features now. So let's start out with something that I honestly found is, I know it's not like insane insane, but I love it so much. Basically, you know, I'm over here holding my camera. What if I'm just holding something else? You know, I'm walking up to the car and I'm just like, yo, you know what? I got a lot of things in my hand. Do I have to actually set it down on the ground? No, you just put your foot near the top of the trunk. Kind of like touch the top of the trunk. And we're good to go. So that's one of the coolest things, uh, one of the coolest things. Uh, we got a lot more to show you guys. Here, let's just say dropping this car off at a valet and uh, you don't want them accessing your trunk. You go ahead and put this on lock, close this and go ahead and lock this guy right here and only give them part of your key, not the part with the key. And they will no longer be able to access this, which is all your secret stuff. And they won't be able to access your trunk no matter what, because you'll lock the trunk. So that's another way to like, if you're giving the keys to someone to go park your car for you, they can't snoop into all your stuff. You go ahead and lock all that stuff up, which is nice. But I'm gonna go ahead and leave it on unlock so I don't forget that. Down here, there's a little cubby just to put some uh, files or whatever. Um, I really didn't notice that until I kind of looked kind of like I had to go kind of low for that. I bet you guys, many guys don't know this, but if you come to the passenger side and you're looking for a cigarette lighter, there's one in the center console and there's actually one down here, which is kind of crazy. So you can actually plug in a cigarette, uh, you can plug in, you know, a cigarette lighter, whatever you want to do, more auxiliaries, more USBs, whatever. It's right down here. You can drag and you can kind of tuck in the USB cables to like right here so anyone can use it. Um, so it's kind of crazy they kind of kept it hidden. Um, but yeah, I would have never known about that if I didn't actually looked that one up. Since we're on the topic of cubbies over here, if you guys come over over here, I bet y'all didn't. Okay, so I probably, probably some of you guys have noticed this, but I don't know if you guys have actually opened it or some of those who are new to this car. You could put a phone in there. Like if I actually grab my phone, I could put my phone in there and straight up shut that baby up. So that's kind of crazy. You can put whatever you want in here. Some, I don't know if you want to put like your registration because you know, as BMW drivers get put over a lot. You can put whatever you guys want to put over there, but um, maybe some lawyer papers, whatever. A lot of things you guys can put in there, but let me go ahead and show you guys something that I found really cool. That's something that I know my E90 does not have. And that's the fact that this car can play DVDs. And I, I'm, I'm serious. And the reason why I'm choosing 17 again, guys, is because, um, he had an Audi R8 at 17, and I think that's, that's kind of crazy, and that was always a dream of mine. So um, while we're trying to relive dreams up in here, um, and you know, we're hoping one day we'll get an Audi R8, in the meantime, we'll always put this movie inside uh, you know, our DVD player because this car has it. Uh, let me show you guys how that looks. So once your DVD is running, you're just gonna go ahead and go back to your menu. You're gonna go ahead and go up here to multimedia, CDs and DVDs, and I think it's reading the DVD right now. And there we go. Actually start up the DVD. I'm gonna go ahead and raise the volume up. And this will not work if your car is in motion. So you have to make sure you're in park and this feature will work. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and skip all this. And uh, by the way, this will go out. You can you can take off the dynamic, the dynamic stuff over here. Um, I'm just gonna leave it there because that's my brother's settings. I don't wanna mess with that. But uh, you can have this full screen, of course. Discipline in need of correction. Which is why I intend to start with the worst school in the country. Yeah, so if you guys have a lot of people in the house and you're like, yo, I don't want to sit with all these people, you're like, and the, the, the sound system in the house is garbage, just go ahead and jump in your car, watch a movie, you got surround sound all the way across, you can definitely feel engaged, but just make sure you don't put your car in drive because it'll cut it off. But there is actually a mod for that, there's actually a way you can actually remove that safety feature and you can drive while watching a movie. 
I don't recommend that because that's kind of crazy to keep you got you keep your eyes off the road which is definitely unsafe uh, but yeah well if you're waiting for somebody or you're doing uber or something I guess in a BMW why wait for somebody you can watch a movie I think that's kind of cool why not it's a nice little touch all right guys this is kind of a neat thing right here which is the DSC a lot of my friends try to whip this car around just by clicking this button if you guys click this button once what happens is you have traction control off and I'll say traction control is you know uh, reduced but it's not completely turned off. So the way to turn that off, you just have to hold this down until you see the screen of red death that's telling you, yo, you're gonna die unless you know what you're doing. You're a professional like Nor Hamadi, then uh, you know you'll be able to whip it around a corner and do whatever you want. You have the, you know, you have full control of your car, and it'll leave a warning there as well, so you know that your traction control is off. Never, never turn that off completely in the rain because uh, I've drifted into a curb once when I was not a professional. I find this one kind of neat. Uh, this actually is on the E90 as well. So for those of you guys who have an E90, this will work for you as well. And that's this button right here. You have to make sure that this button, right underneath the scroll to adjust your mirrors, uh, is to the left. If it's to the left, when you put your car in reverse, that mirror will go down. So not everyone has a backup camera. If I put this thing in reverse, you guys can see I have a backup camera in this car. So when you put it in reverse, your side mirror will actually go down and that's pretty neat. And uh, you'll be able to see the curb, you're not gonna hit anything. Um, obviously it's not a backup camera, but it at least helps when trying to reverse it to a parking spot, get you kind of close to that line. So you kind of can base that off of the other the other side where the line is at. Also another cool thing while you're in reverse, I don't know if you guys know this because you guys weren't there in the car. When you put your car in reverse, all the lights on your car, all those door lights, will turn on to notify everyone that you are reversing. It's not just your brake lights, it'll tell everybody from the sides of your car that you're pretty much reversing. It actually looks really luxury as well when you're backing up and all the lights are on. I think it's kind of dope. So if you guys wanna check that out, just go outside and tell somebody to back up your car. All those lights around your car will uh, turn on. So I think that's kind of neat. So in the same area where we're playing with the radio and stuff, where we're playing how the movies and all that cool stuff, I don't know if you guys know, but this is only a 2008 E90s and up in F30s. If you actually put your finger over here, and you go between these, it changes the channels. You don't even have to click the buttons. So if you see I click it, it'll select it. But you can hover over all of them and select whatever channel you want to be on. And you can obviously program channels to each of these buttons. Like if you want to do auxiliary, if you want to do like station 1.9, if you want to do like a certain menu, these buttons are for your convenience and I think that's really dope. And also for convenience, they have this in the E90s as well. You could program these individual buttons to uh, get into your garages, which I think is super dope. And for those of you guys who are wondering what this little ding a ling -a thing is, don't ever worry about that. I never understood what that is. And if you guys know what that is, let me know down in the comments. This is a little neat thing. I don't know if you guys know, but basically, Basically, if it's a super hot day and you're just trying to vent some air, you can click this button, this button right here in the middle, and basically it'll get your uh, window up high enough for it to vent. And if it's super hot and you you still want it to vent but you want the window closed, uh, basically mm -hmm. if you pull this up, your car actually has some vent some venting right here. On the E90s, I don't think we have that. So on the F30s, it's kind of cool. So you can leave your window partially open and still get some venting, uh, which is, I think, pretty dope. And also up here, uh, if you guys are having any issues with your sunroof, this is another way to reboot it. And the same thing applies to every other BMW. So if you guys are wondering if you have sunroof issues and it's like stuck in a certain position, it won't go all the way back or won't go all the way forward, all you gotta do is hold down this middle button uh, same way to move it up to uh, you know this position to vent. You just keep holding it down until it starts doing the resetting process and uh, it should be doing it any second now. And as you guys can see, my finger's still up on it. It takes about 20 seconds. It's gonna go back on its own. My finger's still in the middle and it's gonna come back. So it's basically doing its whole resetting process to make sure nothing's jamming it and bam, it's gonna go back to the closing position. So that's how you reset it. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and close this as well. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty dope. All right guys, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the car for this one, because this one actually requires the car to be off. If you guys are doing a coolant flush or whatever that may be, and you guys wanna reset your, your coolant system, um, the bleeding procedure is not like every other car where you have to do it manually. BMWs do offer a manual bleeding process, but it's a pain in the butt, and why do it when you have an automatic uh, bleeding process? Uh, if you guys don't know what this is, basically when you replace your fluids uh, for, your, for your radiator or whatever, you do need to bleed out all the air bubbles, all the air and all that stuff to make sure everything runs smooth and it won't cause any overheating issues. So the way to do that is the first thing you gotta do is uh, turn on, I think you have to put this on accessory mode. So once it's in accessory mode, you wanna turn on the heater. So you wanna turn the heat all the way up here on both sides and keep it on the first one. And then you just wanna put your foot on the gas 
for approximately a 10 seconds. And once you do that, your car will start bleeding. You can open up the hood, you can hear it. Make sure everything's tight. Make sure that everything is already good to go. Does you have you don't really have any screws open, your expansion tank, the cap is on, everything is good to go. And uh, the car will start bleeding and it's gonna start creating pressure to get all that air out. I'm not gonna do it on my brother's car. My brother's car is about to die. The battery is bad. He hasn't really driven this car ever since we've done the repairs. You have a few more things waiting to come in to do smog and headlight and brake. But yeah, that's how you do the bleeding procedure. That's what we did when we ended up replacing the, the radiator. We had to bleed the system. All right, guys. So let's just say, for example, your friends are coming over and you want the windows to roll down. You wanna get some air in the car. All you gotta do is hold down the unlock button and all your windows should go down. I think I'm blocking the street over here. But yeah, all the windows as you can see can go down as, as long as you're just holding the unlock button. If you hold the lock button, it's not gonna come up unless you get it programmed. I find it kind of stupid. It's one of those things that BMW kind of did halfway where you can unlock the windows, but you can't roll up the windows with the key. If you if you have the car adapter, you can program that and you can roll up your windows, you can close your sunroof, you can do all that cool stuff. And also you can unlock the DVD system. You can play movies on the go, which I don't recommend, but you can. And you can have like the side mirrors close in. You can have certain blink commands. You can have interior lighting commands. There's so much things you can do. Um, it, it can also do a lot of resets and all that stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and get all that stuff programmed for my brother down the road and I'll probably do a video Video with you guys if you guys are wondering how we can do all the coding i'll do it with my brother and i do it with you guys um but yeah or how to roll up all the windows manually which is really stupid that's where the carly adapter is a must for everyone that owns a bmw those are all the features i know as of now if you guys want a part two to try to figure out a few more features for you guys uh make sure to smash that like button i'm really excited on this f30 for my brother we have so much things planned for this car we're trying to go at full m sport we're trying to replace the steering wheel with an m sport steering wheel because we're not a fan of the regular steering wheels in this car so there's a lot of things to come guys and we're really excited if you guys enter that giveaway don't forget to check out the link the first link in the description just go ahead and smash that like button on this video follow the channel follow my instagram sometimes i post on my instagram things that i'm doing before the video even goes up if you guys want to know what's going on with the builds before the videos even announced make sure to follow me on my instagram for that and you guys have a chance of winning some carbon fiber side mirror caps without further ado guys i'm gonna go ahead and lock my brother's car before i kill his battery completely and uh we got a lot of things coming in, in the way for that baby and we actually have my 335 taken apart for you guys, um, some new things coming in for that car, which we're super excited about. But yeah, guys, without further ado, make sure to smash the like button. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. She got me saying, Yalla, huh, baby. I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your go down, girl. We know you ain't easy. She got me saying, Yalla, huh, baby. I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your go down, girl. We know you ain't easy. You know.